So today I'm going to be doing my Ipsy Glam Bag X unboxing and I am so super duper excited to do this video. I've been waiting to film this for a couple of days. I've just been so busy lately but I'm finally I'm excited to start being able to sit down and film again. So be sure to do all the things. Follow my social media links down below. Go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below and click the notification bell. Be sure you click it to all to be notified every single time I post a video. Sometimes on YouTube, people's videos could be lost in that subscription page. And also be sure to thumbs up this video if you love unboxing and to give your girl some love. So let's get in to the video. Here is my box. <laughs> Look at this, you guys. So this is what the box looks like. Basically, I already did all my face makeup. I'll do the rest on camera because I have almost a full face right here to complete my makeup look. So basically, Ipsy Glam Bag X is a quarterly subscription box. So Ipsy has their normal glam bags. The normal Ipsy glam bag that you get monthly um, retails for $12 and you get that every month and you get about, you get five deluxe, kind of like sample size products. Um, and then this is quarterly. So like a celebrity or a makeup artist or an influencer will basically choose most items to be in your Ipsy Glam Bag X. And then you get to choose, I think, three of your items. So I believe you get about seven full-size products and it retails for $55, I believe. So five of the items are already set to be in the box and then three of them I chose. So this Glam Bag X for the month of February is curated by Patrick Ta, which is Rihanna's makeup artist. And I was so stoked about this. I was like, heck yeah. Already when I opened the box, I already feel like this is way better than BoxyCharm and it makes me want to like cancel BoxyCharm because I'm obsessed with this box already and I don't mind waiting quarterly. So basically since we got this in February, the next one will be April and so on and so forth. It came with this really cute newspaper. Like how cool is this? It basically just says Ipsy Glam Bag X, Expert Artistry. Patrick Ta is putting the power of makeup in your hands. And it lets you kind of read about it. So he wrote a little thing saying, I'm beyond excited to be the first creator of Glam Bag X, yada, yada, yada. When you open it, it shows all the items that you will receive in your box. Like how cute is this? Like all the little details, you guys. And also it tells you his tip on how to apply it, which was amazing. So let's get into what I got and then we'll get into the try on. So this is the complex, this is the complex culture sonic t-bar facial massager just wanted to give you guys a little mini review of the sonic t-bar i did use it um the night after i filmed the video and overall i thought it was a really really great product um and it felt really good on the skin and it felt a little bit tingly afterwards and I did feel like it really did penetrate on my skincare hand and I feel like it made my skin feel a little bit softer. That's possible. So that's what I thought of the Sonic Tea Bar. So I totally would have tried this if I didn't have a full face makeup on right now. This retails for $58. This is already more than what you pay for the box. The box is 55, so this is 58. Already got more than the value of the box, which is crazy just from one item already. The glowing skin and sculpture features Patrick creates on his clients, question mark. It starts with the right prep specifically a smoothing and sculpting face massage using the sonic power tool just slide it over your skin to help reduce puffiness relieve tension and sculpt your features and then patrick's tip says i use this to work in skincare before makeup a little extra prep always goes a long way this is so dope oh my god i'm like so excited <laughs> you guys don't even know i'm so stoked about this here is the little tool here i think i'm putting it in wrong it's already going <laughs> Turn it on. <laughs> it was going. Wow. Oh my god. I am so excited to try this. I'm gonna do it on my arm. <gasps> oh my god. I am like so stoked about this. I actually have like a jade roller and it broke, so I'm super stoked to have this. Oh my god, I'm gonna use this tonight. 
I'll try to record some footage for you guys. So I got this. So the next item I got here, I'm Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eyes Mascara. So this little guy retails for $30. It's cult favorite mascara from World Re Re Renown? Renowned? Renowned? Makeup artist Pat McGrath has a flexible, buildable formula that allows you to go from soft and fluttery to bold and thick, making it the ultimate pro artist secret for customizable lashes with zero clumps or flakes. And it says Patrick's tip. I love that this mascara is so black. It really deepens the eye look and makes it more dramatic. Ooh, okay. So here is the mascara. My light is so bright that you can't really see. It just says, Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eyes Mascara. <gasps> Ooh, she thick. Check it out, y'all. Look at this one. The one is definitely on the thicker side. I am already so excited. The, this freaking is $30. So then I got this. Mm, I'm excited. So this item here, this is the About Face Paint It Matte Lip Color, and this retails for $22, and this is an Ipsy Exclusives. Um, this is in the shade Last Good Night, and this is Halsey's line, which is so cool that it's in here. And it just says, Patrick is famous for creating super saturated lips, so he had to include this matte liquid lipstick from About Face, a new brand for everyone, everywhere created by Halsey. It's ultra pigmented and long lasting yet totally lightweight. Patrick's tip, to add dimension, add a liner two to three shades darker than your lipsticks. Then go in with the actual color in the center and blend. Here's the packaging. Let's go ahead and swatch it. Oh, it smells good. Ooh, ooh, it smells like Thin Mint. Ooh, it has like a really nice soft texture on the top. So that is the color. Look how pretty, that's a really pretty shade. Such a pretty shade. So there's that, the like, oh, I love this box already. Next thing is, I've been wanting this product, so I'm so stoked for this. So this is the Patrick Ta Beauty Monochrome Moment Velvet Blush, and this retails for $32. And it says, blush, fresh, lit from within skin is a Patrick Ta signature. Get the look IRL with a few sweeps of this blush across your cheeks and lids. It doubles as a shadow. The pigments are infused with light reflecting mica for a luminous glow. Don't people not like mica though? Patrick's tip, apply your blush more toward the upper cheekbone to enhance your bone structure, but still give color. Look at how Cool. This is in She's Passionate, by the way. Ready, guys? That is so pretty. Let's go ahead and swatch it. It's like the perfect corally pink shade. Oh, that is beautiful. So buttery, too. It's right here. It is so beautiful. I love that. It's definitely more coral in person. That is beautiful. I'm obsessed with that color and it felt so smooth when I swatched it. So I can't wait to try this on my face. Next thing is, this is already crazy that it's in the box. Like when I heard this is gonna be in the box, I freaked out. This is the Huda Beauty, the Rose Gold Remastered Eyeshadow Palette. And this retails for $65. We know how freaking expensive Huda Beauty is. And I remember this palette specifically, I remember this was like so popular. And I was like, I would never spend $65 on eyeshadow palette. And years later, I bought like other Huda Beauty palettes. But I remember this was so high and it says with 18 trendy shades in four different finishes this ultra versatile collection of buttery shadows can be used to create pro quality looks that are soft and romantic or bold and glam patrick's tip pack on the pigment right where you want it then take a clean brush or finger what or finger to blend the shadow up and out for an elongated cat eye effect so let's go ahead and open it Huda beauty's packaging is always like freaking beautiful here is the packaging look how beautiful that is and it has like the same picture of her inside oh my god that is so beautiful check it out guys so there are all the swatches so so pretty next so these are the three items i chose so the first thing i chose are these right here I'm obsessed with scrunchies. These are the Kitsch scrunchies. What color do you think? Pink. They're in pink. 
Look how adorable these are. So these are the Kitsch Velvet Scrunchies in Blush Slash Mauve and it retails for $12 and it says these blush tone scrunchies will look adorable in your hair or on your wrist. They're made with a plush velvet fabric that's ultra trendy and won't snag or pull, making it safe for your strands too. Tip, give a chill updo and a make a cute upgrade by swapping your regular elastic with this trendy scrunchie. You don't need to tell me twice, I already got that down. And then the next thing I chose here is this IGK First Class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. This retails for $27, which is crazy. And it says, so this is the second thing I chose. This says, dealing with second, third, or even fourth day hair, NBD. No big deal. Oh, yeah. I forgot that's what that meant. This super powered dry shampoo refreshes your hair in just a few quick spritzes. Feel free to delay your next wash day a little longer. Tip, mist it on your scalp and strands before bed to soak up oil and odors while you sleep. What's inside? Charcoal powder. Detoxifying charcoal powder means this fast acting dry shampoo can tackle both oil and odor. So that's awesome. Is it like black? That's my question. No. Ooh, that smells really nice and fresh and it's not black. So it's not black either. Mm, I'm excited to try this. So I'm editing. I just want to give you guys um, a little mini review of the dry shampoo. So I did use it at night after I filmed this video and it just worked like any other dry shampoo I've ever used. Nothing really different. Um, the only thing is that I could feel it on my scalp and that is a big con for me. If I could feel like build up or like the product on my scalp, then I don't like it. It's a little bit heavy and I prefer more light feeling dry shampoo if that makes sense. And I don't know if it helped my oil that much. I'm not exactly sure because I only used it at night and I didn't touch up. But it's okay. Um, I personally would rather get my um, Holy Grail and that is my Mika dry shampoo or my Verb dry shampoo. So I thought I would just give you guys a mini review. And then the last thing, I am so excited. I am beauty. So this is the One Hit Prime Set and Refresh Dewy Finish Face Mist. Here is the packaging. She cute or whatever. This is also an Ipsy exclusive. And this retails for $18 and it says prime set and refresh your makeup with this triple action face mist. It's infused with aloe and tiger grass extracts to help soothe stress out skin, lavender and rose waters to help tone and brighten and sodium hyaluronate to lock in hydration. <laughs> I need to go back to school or something but I need to read so I could, you know, actually speak normal English and talk normal and actually comprehend what people tell me. Tip, stash this mist in your bag and use it to refresh your makeup on the go. It will rehydrate your skin to prevent your makeup from creasing or caking. That is everything I got in my Ipsy Glam Bag X and I'm so excited right now to test everything out. So here's the scrunchie. You guys aren't really gonna see it because I'm putting my hair up in a bun but like that's super cute. I'm gonna take the Patrick Ta blush right here and let's go ahead and apply it. I'm gonna take my Laura Lee Los Angeles L14 blush brush. I'm so excited right now. Oh, this is really pigmented. She pigmented. Oh my God, she's, that's so pretty. You guys, that blush is stunning. You guys see that? Oh my gosh. That is the most beautiful blushes I've ever applied in my life. This is so pretty. Like I even want more, but I don't want to like put too much. So I'll probably just add some on later. Here, I'll just add a little bit more. This is like the prettiest blush ever. Oh my God. I am like literally too obsessed with this blush. So to fit the Patrick Ta theme, I'm gonna take up a Fenty Beauty highlighter here. I'm gonna take my Laura Lee Los Angeles L15 highlighter brush here. So these are the shades I'm gonna be using today.
Let's take the Item Beauty Spray. I did use this to prep my face before makeup and I think it might have helped. I don't know. But let's go ahead and set my face. I feel like I'm not really getting my face, but I know I did. Oh, that feels really good. I hope my face isn't like really dewy because I am, I am an oily gal. Oh, I wanted to get my neck. I feel like I, this spray feels weird. I feel like I'm missing parts of my face. I don't know why. I mean, my makeup looks real freaking glowy. What do you guys think? Does my makeup look more glowy? In my Ipsy Glam Bag from last month, I got like a little item beauty concealer. It's the Airhook concealer and I was obsessed with that. Now I'm obsessed with this and I actually really like her stuff. Now we get to use this. I'm so excited. I'm not gonna say the name of this person, but I'm gonna take this Morphe brush collab with this one person. I don't, I no longer support, but it's the JS5 brush. So I'm gonna use that today. It's cute, it's pink, but don't support the person behind this. I'm gonna take this shade right here and I'm gonna blend that into my crease. You know that, oh, it's already so pretty. That Huda Beauty has, nice pigmented shadows okay i'm gonna switch brushes i'm gonna take my beach cosmetics it's my ray ray they don't they no longer have this brush and it's number six i'm gonna take that morphe brush and i'm just gonna deepen it up i'm gonna take this shade right here it's such a pretty shade i'm scared but let's just try it Let's be a little bit more colorful than just doing nudes all the time because I was just literally about to just go into the nude shades because I'm like that boring. So beautiful. Do you guys see that? Oh, stunning. Why am I whispering? I'm just gonna pack on the shades and then we'll blend. Blend and blend and blending. Now I'm just gonna take a shimmer shade. I'm gonna put on pink diamond right here. So pretty, so pretty. I should have put like a glitter glue on first, but oh well. Sorry, I think this is so beautiful. You guys see that? That is so pretty. It was a really pretty mix of that purple shade that we used too. I'm gonna go back into Risqué. Bring that in here, just kind of tie it together. Pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. I did my other eye off camera. I did everything I told you guys, but the only thing that was different that I added to both eyes, this pink shade here, I added doll face into the crease just to give my eyeshadow look a more of a pinkish look. And I blended everything out again. I went back in with all the shades deepened up. And then I use a shade Demure just to blend everything in. And I added more of that pink diamond shade right here onto the lid. So that's everything I did off camera. Now we get to apply the mascara. So I'm so stoked about that. Let's try this bougie ass mascara. Cause I know Pat McGrath is a designer brand. So that's crazy that I have that in my box. So crazy. <laughs> I'm excited. I need to get like to the roots, you know? This is so, oh, got on such a pretty mascara. Wow. A little hard. Oh, yep. It's hard because it's, it's a thicker wand, so it's a little bit on the tricky side here. Let's go ahead and apply it to the other eye now. So far, I really like this mascara. I'm really loving this box. I'm so stoked like you know i like boxy charm and all you know i get excited for it but like i don't know what it is this box is just so much better because like it's like brand like more like high-end brand i mean there is high-end brands in boxy charm but these are like products that i've actually like a lot of it stuff i've been wanting to try or that i know is really good that everyone raves about or i've heard about from youtube or like whatever. I wanna sit here and be real with you guys. I think I've touched on it a little bit, but back in October, I lost my job. I was a receptionist at a hair salon. Um, my boss, I freaking love her. 
she's not my, she's my boss, that's the time that makes me wanna cry. But basically, my boss thought it was the best decision to permanently shut down the salon. You know, it's, it was really hard. Salons really took a hit during COVID. I don't wanna go too much in detail, but it was the best decision for her to permanently shut down the salon. So yeah, so in doing so, I might not be able to continue to do like boxy charm. I'm thinking of keeping this one because I really like this box and it's worth every penny. So I might just keep this. Does this have a scent? It smells like flowers, it smells really good. I'm obsessed with this mascara. I feel like I can layer it and it doesn't look bad. Like I've heard of Pat McGrath, I just never like personally used it. Look at my eyes. Like how beautiful is this? So that mascara smells like flowers, you guys. And I swear I could still smell it on my face. Like it smells like flower petals. Go ahead and do my lipstick. Okay, I'm gonna take my ColourPop lippy pencil in, oh snap. I'm gonna take this lip pencil here. All right, I applied the lip liner. Let's apply the lipstick. Here we go. I'm excited. Lipstick kind of feels weird on my lips. I sound weird. But the lipstick feels a little gritty. Like I could feel like some something in here. It's in a really beautiful shade. Like look how pretty this is. Like with this look, enduring and intense coverage delivered peppermint infused. Is it the peppermint? Are my lips gonna get plumped? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go back in and just kind of touch up the eyeshadow just a little because me flaking off my mascara made me lose that pigment just a little. Going back in with this shade right here, by the way. I'm gonna go back in with Pink Diamond here. I'm just gonna apply that onto the lid, just adding a little bit more because I flaked off everything. I flaked off my mascara and I lost the pigment a little bit, so I don't wanna lose all that pink we just did, you know? So that's cute. Okay. This eye looks way better than this eye. For some reason, this eye looks better than this eye. I don't know why. And then, so I'm gonna take this shade and this shade, and I'm gonna put that on my lower lash line. Clean off the brush. Now I'm gonna take the shade Demure right here and I'm gonna blend the lower lash line with that. Just blending out the two shades, not make it as crazy looking underneath my lash line. I'm gonna take my Morphe JS11 brush and I'm gonna highlight my inner corners underneath my brow bone. I'm gonna take the shade Bubbly to highlight my inner corners underneath my brow bone. So here's the final makeup look. So you guys, that was my Ipsy Glam Bag X unboxing. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am so obsessed with this. Okay, let's go ahead. Let me find the value of everything because I forgot. I knew it was gonna be good, but like you guys, I'm obsessed with every item. Not like boxy charm and stuff. I'm always like, uh, I like most things, some things I'm like iffy about, but like I actually like genuinely like love everything in my box. And I highly recommend you guys getting the Ipsy Lamp Bag X. You won't regret it. It is so worth it. I'm not even kidding. Thank you guys so much for watching and I have more videos to come. If you guys made it this far, I appreciate you guys so much. And thank you guys so much for your love and support. And for watching this video, I love you all. And thank you for watching. Bye guys.